Lee, tell me where, you where we're at. You're liking this, you're liking this. I'm Look. loving it, it looks beautiful. <laughs> I've brought you to the ultimate challenge, Rob. You said you wanted to catch a pike, and the Stainforth and Kiwi Canal at Whitewood is one of the best places I know for pike. But I'm nervous, mate. It's freezing. Why are we here? It's so cold. I can't believe how cold it is. I reckon yesterday this would have been frozen. Yeah, it was frozen. It was literally frozen yesterday morning. So it's only just defrosted. It's not the best time. But with our magic tactic, we've got a chance, I'm saying. I'm saying we've got a chance, but it's going to be a massive challenge. And Leah's guaranteed us, guaranteed us, if we catch a pike, it's going to be a monster. Oh, it's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big one. Come on, let's go. It's really weird for me, Bob, because I've fished so many matches along this lake. So like today, we're coming here to try to catch the fish that constantly annoys me when I fish matches <laughs> here. You know, it's like, this, the, this bit is one of my favourite bits to, to, to fish, but there's so many small fish. I feel like, you know, if you were, if you were a lure angler and you're walking along here, there's so many small fish here. What makes you stand out to a pike? Do you understand what I mean? I get it, I this, get it. We, we once worked out 50 people and everybody caught 100 fish. So however many fish are actually in it. They've got, you know? they've got like a banquet and that's why they're here, isn't it? Because obviously you look at the boats mm. that, that are just in front of us and where we're going to fish, that, in the middle of a country, in the middle of a stretch, I mean, we go the other side of this bridge, no, it's, it's, it's barren. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, Every yeah. fish for miles must just come round here and settle that, here for the winter. that includes pike. Yeah, of course it does. So, yeah. so I'm saying with what we're going to do today, hopefully we'll draw everything. I always think uh, pike, you know when you've watched these Daydream at Attenborough um, yeah, yeah. Serengeti videos? Yeah. Pike are like the lions, aren't they? <laughs> they follow like these herd of, <laughs> herds of uh, gazelle yeah. around. And, and, like, We're not in the Serengeti, no. Like, no. We're at but Thorn. The, the, <laughs> it's not the, quite the same. <laughs> they're the apex predator, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they are. They're, they're following these oh, it's little the shoals of road around. the biggest fish in the... It's the predator of this mm. water. Nothing is going to destroy Tell me pike. what size fish we're looking at. Well, I, I've had pike here to just short of 20 pounds. Really? I've had pike on that I've seen it when I'm playing them on my roach gear thinking, that's well, a that's 20 pounds, that's yeah. a monster. Yeah. You know, and, and this canal has thrown up 20 pound pike before. So, you know, they're, they're rare, but I'm saying if we get one, there's a good chance of being a double. And we know we love a double. Yeah. So let's see, if, uh, let's see if we can get one today, because I tell you, even though it's looking cold, all of a sudden, I'm full of enthusiasm, Rob. <laughs> I'm absolutely buzzing. <laughs> I said, I'm going for taking my dog for a walk. I said, let's go for a walk up and down the canal. I I, Rob, the thing I hate about pleasure fishing, right, is I can never decide where to sit down. Like, it looks great on the boats. This area <laughs> in the match is great. I've been piked out a lot here before, but pike is all about location, isn't it? It so, is, like, it is. I think we're going to draw some fish, though, with what we're going to do. But we we'll want... we'll just walk 200 metres up that way, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which I'm you over need, the moon you, about. Listen, you need the exercise. I do need the exercise. Tell me what's so special about this little this, area. This we're little going area to here, it just comes off a bend, right? And in the matches, there's always like a few skimmers and that hair. So I always think it's important to see the weights from the matches. And it's also a bit, if I drew here, I'd be thinking, yes, I'm definitely going to get some bites. It's not an area where I think, oh, is it going to be any good or not? And that to me, where there's fish, there's other fish. Also, as we walked down and we were doing a bit of chatting, the fish, I've seen two fish yeah, top and I've they've both top. topped here. Mm. So like, I feel like anywhere here is a great shout. Well, there's this boat on this yeah, lone one, six, boat. Eight. Go on then. The yeah, toddy. I mean, I'd have been happy anywhere, these sort of two, three pegs here, but I think there's a little boat here, isn't there? So why not? I eh? think anywhere where there's a boat, it definitely hops fish. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think this is good enough for me. Let's, uh, I mean, the setup's going to be dead simple. So let's give it a, let's give it a whirl, see how we get on. Right, so what I'm thinking is, Last time we decided who had the, the first fish. We can't do that today because we're going to be holding... Yeah, and you won the coin toss. I did win the coin toss. So, <laughs> but, but what I'm thinking is we need to decide who sits left or right because what, you know, it flows a bit this way, which is the best side. Listen, there's only one thing for it. Rock, right. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. So, so, hang on, just for clarity, is it rock, paper, scissors, reveal, or are you... 
I, I don't no, want to be... Rock, paper, real... scissors. Rock, paper, scissors and go. And then go. Yeah. Right, okay, I got you. Right, so okay. I, 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 should I do... You have to do it like this, don't you? That's um, that. Yeah, you do, yeah. On, let's but go. I like to do it and my son does it. <laughs> <laughs> and, he do, and he just goes, goes gun. <laughs> and he wins every time because gun beats everything. Yeah, we're not it? having gun. Right, we don't okay, do that. Right, okay, ready? Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, go. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> you got to go there. <laughs> Yes! Oh, destroy, destroy! I'm going done me. this side because I can fish to the oh, toddy. You're going to fish to the toddy. All yeah. right, okay, fair enough. Well, I'm going to go. It's not uh, much in I'm it. I'm going to go a metre and a half. But I think, I think the, <laughs> the, the, the canal's flowing this way a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's. So right, obviously, yeah. you want to be downstream. I think I've got the boat. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I think I think this is prime position. Yeah, I think you've got it. I think you've got it. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's get some gear off. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what? That's what the twenty pounds. Well, we might need it for the twenty pounder. So just <laughs> have you bought ground bait? Because I haven't bought any. Well, <laughs> shock. <laughs> um, yeah, I bought some ground bait because obviously when we're fishing matches, we talked about this, didn't yeah, we? If, yeah. if you ball it in, we're going to ball it in, aren't we? The, Not loads, like six balls. No, I'm but you think, oh, I'm going to attract loads of roach in my swim. Yeah. Mm. You attract a load of roach, but you, the, I'm sure it's the noise brings the pike in as well. well. We, when we fish here, with um, we cut the bait in to avoid pike, yeah. so you don't have the same like impact. So I'm thinking, let's, I want to do everything that I don't do in a match in terms of I want to be like real. I want the noise of the balls, and I've got like quite a hempy ground bait that's going to be all active, so really and, active. Just yeah, get just, loads of just, noise attraction, loads of roach in, your, in the swim, and then mm, I that's, think that's you know I'm when you're thinking. sitting, yeah. Why don't you ball it in where you're going to fish? So what, ball it in? Straight in front of you. Yeah, okay, yeah. I can fish for the pike next door. So you can I... fish for the pike right over the ground bait, but then if you get bored, you can have a go for some roach. I can have you? a go for some roach as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. And I always think as well, maybe even catching a few roach might spice it up a bit, might spice the peg up a bit. All right, so if I, I'll ball it in there in front of myself, and if you're, you're sort of around the periphery, aren't I'll you? I'll tell you then? what we'll do. You mix the ground bait, I'll set the rigs up. Sounds good to me. Like that? Yeah. That's it, right. Is it? Yeah. Stick to feed the fishing, mate. Yeah, but that doesn't... That's not a right angles now. That's... No, no, listen, that's right, like this. And then... So you obviously got the strength here. If you had it the other way up, it'd be a wobbly bob. Right, so um, yeah. That's, right. How, why is that like that, then? That just doesn't like... There, look. Fine. Right. So there's a bit giving it so you can get it through the things. Right. This is the time to tell you guys what we are actually doing. We've alluded to it already. This is pike on the pole. Well, that's the game anyway. So we're thinking, Rob, aren't we, that we always get piked out, you get pike trouble whenever we go match fishing. And it seems easy for us as match anglers to catch these pike, not necessarily get them out, but catch them. And then you see pike anglers walking along and it seems a bit harder. So- Lee, I'm sick of building up a roach swim <laughs> the Mr. Pike comes along and you get into a lovely flow, roach after roach after roach, you think, I'm gonna win the match today. It's solid. Mr. Pike comes along, batters you peg. I'm saying, I'm saying it's gonna be that day today, that magical day where you don't get any pike. <laughs> <laughs> Just catch a roach after roach. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna throw in some ground bait, ball in some ground bait, make some noise, try and draw as many fish as possible. I've got a few little tricks up my sleeve to try and draw us roach in, but Rob has come up with a rig. I'm excited, Rob, because I tell you what, looks to me like you're just making up a giant jigger here. Because I'm thinking pike fishing, trebles. Yeah, I know. Animal I know. tackle. Look, trebles are great. If we're casting a long way, trebles are great. Now, there's a massive swing towards single hooks. Um, obviously, you use a single hook for everything else. It's just the fact that you've got your bait. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you need something to house your bait, don't you? So you yeah. have a treble hook. 
single hook, a big trip single hook, massive swing towards it. I think the fact that we're fishing on a pole and we're directly above the fish as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we strike. Oh, it's a big hook. Bro, that is a big hook. It's a huge hook. So, you know. Let me just tie this on, yeah, then, we'll, yeah. then we'll run through it. Because it's, um, it's, it's like I say, it's a scaled down version. You can already see the float. It's not a massive, massive pike float. It's the smallest pike float I could get from the shop yesterday. You yeah, just it. need it to sort of be yeah, able to support our... Five gram, it isn't massive, is it? No. See, that's what always put me off of pike fishing. I'd look at the, like, the thick traces and, and think, surely they can see that. Surely they can see there's a problem there. I think maybe they can, Lee, but you know what? I think they're so greedy once they're in the mood. Right, yeah, they just yeah. grab it. Yeah. So what we've done is I've got some 12 pound line. Yeah. As main line. We yeah. don't want to leave a trace in a fish. No, of course not. Obviously, it's our just... elastic brakes are ridiculously strong. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can't pound. break it yeah, with yeah, your hands. Yeah. You've, we've got really strong main line. I've got a float stop above the float so we can set the depth. Yeah. A float stop change below. Change the depth as well. We can well. change the depth. We can yeah. suspend something yeah, in the water yeah. if we want to. A float stop below the float. So obviously, just to, just for it to sit yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, you need an there. area. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, we don't want the float stop float slide yeah, yeah. down the line. We're going to put a couple of your shot yeah. on the main line. And then when we get down to the business end, I've got 14 inches. And this is quite a fine wire that trace. I was going to say, it's not a big, thick wire trace, it's, that, it's is it? It's £10, right? Yeah, yeah. It's £10. But it's wire, so obviously... And look how supple it is. I've managed to nice, tie my hook on. Knotless knot style. Really nice, yeah. It's a massive size... Well, massive to us. It's a size 2 hook. Yeah. We've got gonna, a few, you've got a few dead roach. Yeah, we're going to lip hook a roach. Yeah. Jig him around. Oh, Mr Pike's oh, going to so come gonna along. going to break me out, that is. And he's going to go clump like that over the top of it. His mouth is going to be three times the size of my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to see that float wobble on the surface, slide away, and then we're going to go, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Whack on the pole, Rob, and we're going to have we, a battle on our Oh hands. my God, if we get a pike on the pole, I will absolutely love it, especially you, with proper gear. And know, I've landed them on the pole on light elastics. Exactly, yeah. Like they three sort of plod around, don't they? They plod around. They don't do a lot, yeah, but I think the excitement and the stronger tackle is going to set it Oh my god, <laughs> so excited, it looks fantastic. All right, look, that's a brilliant, brilliant setup. I'm going to get the balls ready because we can get in, can't we? Yeah, we're fishing. Brilliant. So go on, what depth should I Yeah, it's, well, I mean, it, listen, it, it's it, it's that deep. Is it? What, uh, it's eight deepest. foot? It's eight Seven foot, foot? it's deepest, yeah, right. definitely, 100%. Right. So, well, yeah. I'm going to set it there and then. Uh... Are you going to put your stop further down, your bottom one, so you can like jig, like a proper jigger? Yes. That's a good idea. Now isn't I am. It? Yeah, isn't that the right idea? <laughs> Not really, but well, no, I was, th no, I was I thinking surely you slide that down. And I know, then you... but I was going to lift my float out, you see. Oh no, the float will stay on the surface and you'll be jigging yeah, the bait. I can jig it up, yeah. But then you'll feel the donk on your pole tip. Yeah, you oh, one. you'll feel a donk on your pole tip, won't you? Flip it out. Maybe it'll just uh, hook itself like an F1 does, mate. You know how, like, you're fishing shallow and it just. <laughs> and your pole tip just disappears. Yeah, but this time it'll disappear with a 20 pound pike on the end. I think we should mix it up a little bit with the six balls because obviously it's all a bit of fun, isn't it? First one is just a right-hander in between. Oh, we're going right and left-handed. Oh, but listen, I'll make the rules, right? You're just throwing the balls. <laughs> what we're we doing, kicking the last one. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so obviously we're trying to make some noise, round about the float. Rob, do you want me to set the standard or are you Go going? on, you set the standard. Well, It'll be interesting the... to see the standard. I'll set the standard. Right, here we go, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, yeah, I can a bit too far, yeah. No, the float right. was wobbling, yeah. This is where I'm weak. Left hand. Right, okay. Then. Right, you set the stand left hand because I'm bad left hand. That was that was I think that's an, all right. That was an epic left hand. I'll let you have it that as an epic left hand. Oh, that looks good. Oh, just a bit uh, short. Equal. One, and one. the last one. One one. Last one one. I'm saying back of the toe path. Give yourself another little bit of a right distance. hand. Right hand. Right hand, yeah, right hand. I'll set the stand. I don't think I've ever thrown this far. Here we go. Oh, oh I pulled it left! That is terrible. That was so bad! Go for it, go for it. 2 1. Yeah. Oh dear. It's another win. <laughs> right, some bait in the peg. Usually the roach take a little while to um, come find it once you've made some noise. But you can see there, big loud noise, lots of attraction. I think we're ready to put some dead baits on and jiggle them around, see if any pike want to come and have an early sniff. Choose your weapon. I think this one's a beautiful. He's got a lovely little humpty back on oh, him, that yeah. one. Yeah, is he, does he smell a roach? Yeah, does I it? think he will, yeah. Whatever a roach smells like. Mm, yeah. So a little, little roach, all right. So what sacrilege, we Sacrilege, is, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is sacrilege. Good job, I'm glad he's dead. Are we... Um... I, I lip hook him, Lee. Right, lip hook him. Lip hook like, him. Like really solidly, so he ain't going to come off. Yeah, proper lip hook him. But this is the other benefit. We're not chucking with a rod, are we? We no, just no, can lower just, everything in with a pole. Yeah, yeah, So you can right. hook it a lot lighter. 
Lip hooking. That's obviously a big benefit, Rob, having lots of hook exposed, is it? Yeah, loads, yeah. yeah Lip so. hooking. You, and we've got to think, you know when we go chop worm fishing on the on the on the pole for a pair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think of it like that, that's what we're doing. Chop worm fishing. So when we get a bite, we don't want to strike straight away. We yeah. want to say it in our head, and this is what we're gonna say, Lee. Go on, I'm ready for it. Thank you, Mr. Pike, for eating my roach. And then and we're, gonna, then we're gonna give it the big whack. That's, yeah? That's brilliant. And Rob has also advised me to I've got some little stock, yeah, haven't I? Put, I? I put a little piece of like rubber on this here because Rob was in charge of buying bait and he's only bought six, so we don't want to lose them. So that's a good idea there. So you just put like this piece of rubber and that's going to stop that roach pulling off. And the barb would have stopped it anyway, but just 100%. But that's it. That's our, that's our rig. And we're going to do some jigging for a pike. Let's see what happens. I'm interested. I'm going to have a little play. Don't you jump in for... Oh, hey, that's oh, cheating. Oh, I'm in. Give me a chance. Oh yeah, it sinks quite relatively. I tell you what, Rob. I thought the water was really coloured. No, it's clear. And now I'm looking. I can that see. That looks a amazing, good light doesn't it? Oh my god! Right, amazing. give me a float stop. I'm, I'm actually mate. thinking that a pike might just eat it there. That's how good it looks. I'm, I'm amazed that you've put your net in. I put my net in. I tell you, what I put my net in. Not just out of. Not just out of. Um... Oh mate, I'm in. You know, I just thought. Well, if I'm going to do some roach fishing. I'm in. <laughs> hey, oh. If I'm going to do some roach fishing, then here we go. This is what they love. All right. Yeah. Is that the big slap? Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, you're jigging already. No, I was just. I tell you what, I was doing, Rob. I was seeing like, I was lowering it down to the bottom to see what was, what the crack was really. Because I like sinks a bit slower than I thought. No, no, it's sinking. It's sinking. I tell you what, I was. Oh, I am literally jigging for a pipe. Right I know. Now. I can see that. Right. I tell you what, I was thinking more than anything. You look a bit further out than me as well, don't you? Maybe because obviously I'm sitting a bit further. You back. are sitting a bit further back, to be fair. But first time we've got it covered for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have little sessions. I'm gonna actually. I tell you what, I'm gonna do. Hey, oh. This is gonna. You thought I was in there, didn't you? <laughs> you got all excited. <laughs> I'm gonna come back one from oh, the bait, yeah. just so because I want a few roach to settle over the bait. I don't want right. the roach to be put off by my jigging just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back one. I'm just wondering. It's not. The other, the other thing I was going to say was, do you think that, like, you always want... I mean, like, because we've set it, like, at the bottom. So do you, do you want the bait laying on the bottom? I don't think you want, like, bait on bottom, do you? Probably not, mate, no. But I think it's a good start, isn't it? You don't just chuck your lure out, though, and lay it on bottom. Do <laughs> I don't know, yeah, you catch loads doing that. <laughs> do you? Yeah, we do. All oh, right. Yeah, catch loads doing that. All right, well, you guys know. But, but it's eight foot deep. Yeah, see, look, I've come back a bit, so I've got the inside track a little bit, just for now. And then, look, want me to lose feed? I'm going to lose feed some pinkies for us. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I reckon that's the one, don't no, you? No, no, I love it, I love it, I love lose it. Lose feed some pinkies, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it draw looks... some roach into Lee, that, whatever you're doing looks fantastic. It does look great, doesn't it? <laughs> it does look We're fishing great. the dead roach and loose feeding pinkies over the top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Well... It's like that age old classic. Hang on, tactic. hang on, hang on. Let me talk to you about the circle of life, right? So effectively It goes pinky roach. Pinky pike. eats roach. Pike pinky eats roach. Sorry. Roach eats pinky, pike eats roach. Oh, so really you're so, feeding pinkies. Well if you haven't got any roach here, then exactly. technically I'm feeding pinkies for pike. It'd be interesting to see, obviously I now I'm already itching to see for some action. Yeah. What would happen if you ship your roach rig out? I, I don't usually it takes a while, doesn't it? In it? this time of year, I mean, you know, it's January, so it's going to take, it would usually take a good hour to catch fish. We'd mm. probably be perching next to the net. So. I think this afternoon's going to be our time. Whenever I've been out law fishing recently, you, you get a nice window of maybe half an hour in the afternoon where you get, you get a few fish. Right here. We got here nice and early this morning. We've set up, we're ready to go. I might have a brew. It's ten it's ten o'clock. Yeah. That's like match start time, match isn't it? Match starts time, yeah. So Pike the, I, we even got the timings right. The pike will be <laughs> like, oh yeah, the match has started. Normal match, Liam get ready, Robert lads. No, I think that's... You've even put your net in to replicate I'll match in, situations. I don't, <laughs> don't even ask me why I put my net in. I just I thought, I don't know, maybe I'll put it in and we, you know, we might need a few I'm going to keep everything nice and still for a little bit. Yeah. And then I think I'll start jigging it around. Or I might just give it the odd flutter up. There you go. Just a flutter up. 
There we go, mate. Flutter down. Surely when you... They so take it on, they, they love it on the drop leg. I think my roach is off the bottom because look, my pike bobber is sitting down a bit. Yours isn't. Yeah, maybe. It looks like your... Because you're not set... Mine's set up I've right, got. I've it? got two shot on mine as well. You've I've only got, got one. I've got two on it. Yeah, I've two on it. Yeah. I've given it a little bit of slack, Rob. I noticed yours yet. I thought, well, it, if I'm all tight... Well, I've tried to give mine some slack, but it's tightened up, I think, because mm. it's... Maybe my bobber's a little bit more buoyant. What, the same five grand bobber that yeah. I've got? And do you know yeah, the other You know how here? inconsistent those machine... Yeah. <laughs> those machine-made bobbers yeah, yeah, are. They, yeah, they are, yeah. I'll tell you what else I was going to say is that... And loose feeding pinkies also gives me something to do. Yeah, it does, yeah. So obviously target is just to get a bite, isn't it, to start with, but <laughs> what's the PB? If we're going for PBs today, what's your I always PB? Want to, I'm always in search for a PB, that's the game. Um, I've got a big PB, Rob. I've got a big, I caught, actually fishing for pike, it's small, probably like eight, nine pound. I'm, what, I'd going out lucky. with a spinner or something Yeah, like going that. out with a spinner when I was a kid. Um, you know, I haven't really caught any big pike, but because we obviously go match fishing, I've been lucky enough to be in some situations where I've had some massive pike on and I actually landed one on this very canal about a mile that way that was £25.12. Uh, beautiful, an absolutely beautiful fish. On what what, what gear? Uh, Obviously it took a two, roach, has it? £2 line on a waggler. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, took a, it was a great story actually. I hooked this roach and as I'm playing it, a pike's took it and I sort of like this and a boat's come. And I've put my rod down like that and thought, well, I'm just going to lose a lot here. The boat came back up and the pike had kited right in the edge. And when I tightened up, it just sauntered along the edge. And my mate just put the net in front of it. And it, we didn't have a net big enough. And it got its like head caught in it. And we ended up getting two nets. Oh, to double scoop netting. It out, double net it. Yeah. So really big fish, really big fish. You do a bit of lure fishing though. You got some big ones? Or no, is it... because for me, you know what? It's all about the bite. And you know when I go lure fishing, Lee? I'm using such light gear, it's ridiculous. So Yeah, because you're fishing for everything as well, aren't you? Fishing for perch, perch really. Yeah, and yeah. if we get bites from Jack Pike, it's great. I reckon my my best pike is probably about 12 or 13 pound. And I think I think my son has caught bigger fish than me. You know, when I've caught hooked a fish and I give him the right <laughs> to pay the him, fish yeah. in, I think he's caught bigger fish than me. But yeah, for me, it's just about getting the bite. But I think this is different, isn't it? Because... We're setting a trap here for a big one, aren't we? Or, you know, I know we just want to get a well, bite. Yeah, I, mean, but... not, I mean, the thing is, with, I always think with specimen fish in general, Rob, you, it's, it's sitting in the location where they are. Mm. And this canal has got a lot of fish and it's got a lot of pike. And yeah, there's a lot of five, six, seven pound pike in here, but there's a lot of double figure pike in here. So you've probably almost got as much chance of it being a double as you have a you, small one. You know what, if I get, if we, if we get a pike today doing this, I'll be mega happy. Yeah. But if I get a double figure fish, That'd honestly, be I'll be over the moon. Yeah, on yeah. a pole, it'll yeah. be like fishing, pole, yeah. fishing for it by design. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll be, I'll be so happy. Yeah, it's brilliant, nice fish. John, he's on the yeah, okay, go on, Thank go you, on, Mr. Pike. Greeting my roach. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Hey, Maybe. Lee Kerry, stick to your rope. Hey, listen, that's the I'm actually just going off in those little ropes back and forth. That's exactly what I wanted, Rob. A bit of bike action. <laughs> we're in. Oh, we're in. I can see you. There he is, look. There he is. I don't think it's a big one, no. He's got a big one, but he's, he's a pike nonetheless. I think we've literally just there. shipped about eight, eight or nine little roach back there. And I'm saying. I'm saying a little bit of activity. It just went a bit dead, you know, as well. I'm saying it's a team effort, because you've been busy, busy away. But until we've been busy away, we haven't had anything. No, so I'm well happy with that. Look at this. Hey, you, this is... It, how does it feel playing a pike on the farm? I don't think he's little, you know. No, no, he's... he's Obviously, I've seen him about seven, like seven pound, I reckon he was. It's seven pound. Oh, I'll tell you what, Bob, this will be a bit bigger. It's going to be a bit bigger, Rob. Come on, come on, Pikey. Come on, Pikey. I've got him, I've got oh, him. On, Don't Pikey. you worry, I've got him. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Huxpool, as he went in the You're net. You're kidding. Look, look at the hook. hook. Look at the hook on the edge of the net. The hook, I saw him. You know when he the did that big flip? The hook on the edge of the net. So, so when he did that big flip, he tail walked and the hook came out of his mouth. Yes. So unfortunately, we had the net under him. Look at that beauty. Right, let's go and have a question. Yeah, yeah, let's get the mat out. Tell you what, Rob, 
I don't do much pike fishing, but I always think every time I see a pike, what a beautiful, beautiful fish they are actually. You know, the colours and the marking and the, the sort of prehistoric nature of them is, is quite remarkable, isn't it? it, it so often, there are worst enemies, aren't they? Yeah, with they max are. fishing, yeah. there are worst enemies, but the beautiful fish when yeah. you look at them. When you yeah. target it, when you target them and you catch one. And you've got to give them credit because they're they're perfectly yeah, adapted yeah, to what they nice actually fish, do. You know, nice fish. The, the shape of them. I tell you what, you can tell he lives on the stain, he's a big one. He's been eating he's, lots of roaches. Look how fat. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's, he's, you know, he's you not know, a look, massive pike, but no, he's, he's not, but he's know. probably what is he, seven pounds, something like that? Yeah, seven. You look across his back, he's 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 obviously getting plenty of roach down him, isn't he? Yeah, he certainly is. We'll put him back. I mean, if we only catch that fish, it's been a beautiful... It's mission accomplished. It's mission, mission accomplished. accomplished, yeah. Hopefully we get another bite, but I'm, I'm delighted. I'd love not. to catch one twice that size, wouldn't you? Yeah, oh, absolutely. But a great start to our session for sure, if nothing else. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're back in. Just turn, you know? heat, just turn my heat jacket on, Rob. Have you? Yeah. I'm starting to feel the cold, to be honest, with that. All that pike activity with the pike handling i tell you what lee i know this isn't a competition and that was a massive team effort because you were catching those small fish i think that helped with the attraction yeah i do you yeah. netted the fish for me it's brilliant <laughs> but i've got to say i won the rock paper scissors you're having a great day aren't i you? won the balling in and i've caught the first fish wow Wow, what a day for you. This is like a dream day. Well, what a day for you. Just to get one over on you is amazing, but yeah, to get no, I, three over on you. I see where you're coming from. I see you coming from. I'm my on top of the world. My team efforts are going unnoticed. I get it. I no, get no, it. You, you, you were too. I'll tell you what was really. I'll tell you, my angling brain's like going overdrive now because we don't do this sort of thing. Yeah, I can see that. So you were hang saying. On, whoa, 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 whoa. Your angling brain's going overdrive, but yeah. your match fishing brain's gone overdrive as well because the first thing Lee did when we sat back down. <laughs> Chuck two more balls of ground bait in, straight on top of his pike float, <laughs> and then put an extra section of pole on to go further out than where I'm fishing. Yeah. So he's basically cut me off. Yeah. So you're you're stacking the odds in your favour now, aren't you? No, I've gone back to my original distance, but yeah, I'm stacking the odds in my favour. My, my what I'm interested in is you said to me, and you're doing it now, right? When you uh, caught that pike, you picked your rig completely out of the water, didn't you? Yes. Because it had just gone quiet on our roach peg, you flicked it out and literally allowed it to settle or twizzle back down. And you said it had only been on the bottom, what, 20 seconds? It, I think he's got to have watched that roach bait flutter down. Yeah. He's probably looked at it, 20, 30 seconds on the bottom, thinking, I'm going to eat that. Right. And then he's gone bang. You flicked it in, didn't you? Hmm? And the fish has obviously seen it come down and attacked it. So, like, what I'm saying is, do we need to be lifting our poles up? And, and lowering then, it back in. It, like back, flicking it yeah. back in at all different places. Because obviously there's a big, there's kind of like a big area you can search, isn't there? I mean, I've just flicked that one longer. Yeah. You've been flicking it down. I could flick it to the left. We could even flick it inside. Yeah. So, I think that, I think this is like, you know, obviously we didn't think of all these benefits when we thought about coming and catching, coming and catching pike on the no. pole. But there's actually quite a few benefits to it. You know, you can be a lot more active. You know, if we were fishing rod and line, literally, we're casting out, leaving it, leaving it there, or reeling it in, you maybe giving it a You can't twitch. really jig your bait, can you? You're literally just chucking out and We can jig this up and down. I mean, while that was, rig was out there, before I caught that fish, I was lifting my rig out of the water every minute yeah. or so, and then laying it yeah. in every couple of minutes. You're being far more active, and that's got to catch you more fish. Yeah, absolutely. So I think it's all quite interesting. Uh, I have thrown a couple of more balls of ground, but I want more fish there, Rob. I'm, I sh I'm absolutely adamant that by I've only been we didn't have a bite at all, and I've been fishing for two, I started fishing for roach for 20 minutes, and all of a sudden mm. you, we've hooked a pike. Those fish and flash, flashing in the water, it's flashing got to have in the made water, a like you know, if you hook seven or eight fish, and you just, I've been taking my time. Did you notice me taking my time with everyone, even if I caught one like I this know, big? I, I was know. taking my time. So yeah, so um. I'm so confident now. It's, I mean, it's not even. I it's... think we've got a really big chance of catching a, oh, a nice fish now. That'd be great. Because it's early it? in the day. I, I think we've got a chance of catching a, a big fish this afternoon. Listen, it's I. Even if we don't, we've had one. But I'm absolutely delighted. What a brilliant start! If you're a pike angler, you sat behind your rods for. You sitting there? Yeah, you're sitting you know, there waiting you, for Mr. Pike yeah, to come along. Obviously, we've got the poles in the roost now. But I like the fact that we were working hard, mm. like trying to make something happen. I feel like I'm less likely to get one. You know now what? We, we get we got we call that fish. Okay, whatever it was, seven eight pounds. Yeah. My confidence went through the sky high. Yeah, high. Catch, like, my confidence five, went yeah. through the roof of, think, <laughs> of me thinking we're going to catch a big fish later on. Mm. And I still think, look, I think if we stay here, we're going to catch a decent fish. Mm. 
but I'm mm. looking up there at those boats thinking... Oh, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. That's... This is pleasure fishing for you though, isn't it? I know, You know absolutely, when you fish a match yeah. and you just get your peg and that's where you've got yeah, to sit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could go and we could go and explore a little bit more, perhaps. I'm gonna chew it over every cup of tea, I think, and then I'll I think we give it what, I'm, ten I'm, more I'm, minutes here. Yeah. Have a cup of tea, ten more minutes here, and then we've got a massive decision to Big make. Big decision to make, yeah, I agree. That's pipe, that's pipe, that's pipe, that's pipe, that's pipe, that's pipe. Yeah, you've got him, you've got him, you've got him, you've got him, you've got him. <laughs> what we say? Big fish? Little fish? I don't know, Rob. I don't know. I'll tell you what it is. It's a pike. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, look. Right on the surface. Whoa! Oh, I love it. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, just listen, just as we were thinking about moving as well. Literally seconds, seconds after I said that's a bite, that's a bite. That's keep the pressure, listen, keep the pressure on. Similar size fish, Rob, similar size yeah, fish. Yeah, it's got, it's got like a, a bit of a... There he is, Get look. in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, here he is, here he is, here he is, here he is, here he is. Oh, two from two. My arms are Go on, baby. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Pike on the pole, one each. He's, he's, he's a little bit he's big bigger. He's a bigger. He is a bit bigger. Oh, look, look, it looks just come out. Again, oh, yeah. Look at that. Look, you just said there, keep the, keep the pressure on. But as keep soon the as you've light. netted him, right, as soon as you've netted him, the hooks come out, which the, shows that we've. Rock hard margin. Yeah, that single hook, it's worked two out of two. Actually. I think two out of two, but I think the elastic, Rob, I think the elastic stops it from. They can't come out if you keep it tight, can they? No, because the not. elastic's too tight. But look. Yes! Yes! <laughs> so that answers that question about moving swims, doesn't it? Certainly does, mate. Certainly does. Obviously, we just weighed him seven and a half pound. Very similar to that last fish. A beautiful. If it wasn't for that big scar on his side, I'd say it was almost. I'm the telling same you fish. what. There's a big scar there, and there's a little bit there that seems to feel that often that's a pike that's grabbed him like that. When he was a bit younger, maybe, maybe he was a bit smaller. Maybe yeah. he was a bit smaller. I mean, that's incredible. That is something that you know we've always wanted to do catching these pike on the pole, and to now get two. But Rob, I'm saying, what we got? An hour and a half. An hour and a half left. Is there time for a winner? Is there time for a winner? It's one each on uh, the listen, pole. Listen, I think, like I say, that three o'clock half free window. That's going to be the time. It certainly is. And well, I'd lo like I said before, I'd love to catch one twice that size. Absolutely. I'm absolutely delighted with this. We're going to get him back. I think it's time for another. Let's give it a go. I'll tell you what I think this needs. I think it needs a topple with the ground bait. That's, Rob, that's an excellent idea. I think. I I'm on it. I think some noise is good. I really think it's a good idea. We'll just you know, put that fish back and it doesn't seem like there's loads of roach there so i definitely think like it wants another hit i mean isn't it nice look i can just leave my pole set up like that <laughs> yeah that's and right. sit back and wait for that big float to disappear absolutely mm -hmm. perfect so right. where we're going just anywhere just in the middle just well we'll try and throw them sound the, the same pole you set the first hole and i'll and i'll follow it in we're not, we're not bad at that all right, no. I think a little bit of activity, a little bit of noise. I'm saying that it worked early on, didn't it? Well, I just think that there's obviously not as many roach as there was before because before you could catch roach really, or catch like roach and little skimmers really quickly. And like all of a sudden now, it's just, it's hard to catch them. So either the hook in the pike or, I don't see why a pike could come back here unless we we need to make something happen. Yeah, I'll we tell you, do. I'll tell you what um, we noticed, because obviously we've done loads of underwater stuff now, haven't we, for the, for yeah. the website. Yeah, look at that. We've got one. straight to the ball, yeah, isn't straight, it? Straight to the <laughs> noise, isn't it? Um, yeah. When we were getting all that activity in the swim, that's when the pike were coming in, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was when the pike were coming in. But when, when you know, like I so said, we did the under, we did the underwater up on the on the marina area of this on the Stady. And we had times in the peg where you'd go, where have all the fish gone? And we couldn't see. And then all of a sudden fish a pike head just come <laughs> straight in front of the <laughs> screen, giving it the big I am. And obviously, when those things happened, the other fish went out of the peg. So they did scatter, definitely scattered, didn't they? But, you, but the only time the pike came into the peg was once there was activity, once there was fish in the peg. We it needed we, to be feeding It wasn't the like the pike was the first one. I know, there, I always felt that once you put, when you put, too much feed in the peg that's when more the pike was at its most active it'd sit there thinking there's a lot of food here i'm going to sit here and wait for the roach to come back yeah yeah i'll tell you what else was interesting about that day 
Can you remember when every time we put the bait on the surface, the fish went from being down and they had came oh, looking up straight and, up, yeah, flapping so, around up in the up in the water. Which yeah. again is why I felt if we just keep loose feeding a little bit of bait, we're gonna get roach or fish up mm. and down in the layers and listen, it's worked for a couple of pikes, so I'm saying we're teeing it up for a chance here in the last hour or an epic fail and go over fish and chips. Listen, we're trying our best, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> we've just we've just spent all that time fishing out there and uh i've just thought i'll come back and put on well, a change of bait didn't you you said you've had that same dead bait on all day so i thought i'll put another one of these <laughs> put another one of these roach on <laughs> and i've just dropped it in down the edge i've shipped out Last didn't, didn't last even, didn't even get, just as he didn't even get a pole on. We're shipping out. So obviously he's been down here, hasn't he? And so he's he got an edge dweller. He doesn't fail a small fish either. What then. you've got, Rob, is an edge dweller. This is a margin munter, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, we were talking earlier off camera, and I said to you, those pike love to live here and attack your roach out. Maybe we should have been fishing one of us short and one of us long all day? Maybe. You maybe. know what I'm saying? Hang on, we have only just balled it in. Yeah, yeah. Just balled, literally balled it in, and you said, I'm going to change my hook bait, and I said, I'm going to catch another couple. Oh, it is a bigger fish. It's not massive, is it, be? Said, I think I said, I could be a double. Mm. That could be a double. It wasn't as, it wasn't as small as the other is. Look, there he is. There he is. You got him? Yeah, I've got him. 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 <laughs> yeah, he's a bit bigger. He's a bit bigger for sure. Nice, nice, yes. I find it hard to get over, Rob. Obviously, we've just made all that commotion and you've managed to catch one five metres out. It just goes to show how things like that can make such a difference. Unbelievable, and isn't it? Where the fish is. I'd I like to weigh him because he could be 10 pounds. What I've noticed is every fish that we've caught, Lee, big yeah. fat belly. Oh, they're fat fish, aren't they? They're, they're just, they're just, the thing is with all these fish, Obviously, they've got, they've got coming, a gourmet buffet to go for all the time. It's coming up to spawning they? time as well, isn't it? So, is he double figures? He is, mate, yeah. Is he? He is just over, yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Ten, eight. There you go, look. You can see that. Ten pound eight. Beautiful. Brilliant. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, brilliant. I thought he might nick it because he is a lot thicker and longer mm. than that. That beautiful fish. I mean, it, crazy. Rob has <laughs> hooked that four or five metres out from the bank just as he was started to ship his dead bait out brilliant well i think it's a perfect place to call it a day uh what an amazing day three pike on the pole i've loved it mate it's definitely scratched an itch it's something that like you say we've wanted to do for ages isn't it and when it results in fish like that who can argue that it's not a, an amazing tactic brilliant it's competition time folks and you know what we have had to use some pretty substantial gear to land those toothy pike we have got some heavy elastic here mm, mm. to give away. Five of you guys are going to get lucky and you're going to walk away with one of these prizes. Yeah, so yeah. talk them through it, Lee. Look, we've got some brilliant elastic, 17 Duraslip. If I was rigging my pole up right now, Rob, <laughs> for Pike, I'd be using 17 <laughs> Duraslip. Or obviously more likely on a commercial in the summer down the edge, you're going to be using elastic just like this. Like Rob said, we've got five of you lucky guys are going to win it. All you've got to do is comment on this video what species you'd like to see me and Rob trying to challenge ourselves next by catching a little bit unconventionally, I'm going to say. So comment below on a species you'd love to see us catch. And of course, you must be a subscriber to this you've YouTube channel. You've got to be channel. a subscriber. Well, if you're not, why would you not do that anyway? But look, that's all you've got to do to win this great prize.